Are you tired of missing customer inquiries on WhatsApp? Wish you could respond even when you're unavailable? Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> In this video, we'll show you a simple way to automate your WhatsApp replies, freeing you up to focus on other things, even catching some sleep. There are two key tools we'll be using, a form builder. This lets you create a custom form to collect customer information in an organized way directly through your WhatsApp number. An auto reply app. This app scans incoming messages for specific keywords and automatically sends pre-written responses based on those keywords. First, we'll explore what's form. Then we'll analyze how what's form responses appear in WhatsApp. To start off, let's first create the form that we want to send using what's form. To get started, go to whatsform.com. After you've logged in, here we are on our forms page and what we are going to do is click new what's form and put in your WhatsApp number and choose your language and click next. Click on start from scratch. For the sake of this video, let's imagine we are an AC company. Let's set up a form to collect the name and choose from the three different services that we offer. New installation, maintenance service, and to buy a used AC. To keep this video short, we link a tutorial video for creating a what's form on the screen. Now that we are done creating the form, simply click on the publish button and your form is now live. Click on the share button to get the link to the form. Afterwards, you can proceed to add the link to your WhatsApp reply so that the customers are able to view the link when they send a message. Next, let's see how we can use what auto to automate replies based on the keywords that the user sends. Download the what auto app from the Play Store and log in using your business WhatsApp number. You can see the what auto homepage. Before setting the custom message, make sure that auto reply is turned on and set it to custom reply and save. Click on the menu tab. Click on custom reply. This is where we preset the replies using the incoming keywords. For example, we can use the incoming message as triggers to send a reply accordingly. On the custom reply page, click on the plus icon at the bottom right. Type the incoming keyword. This is the word which when sent by the customer will be used to automatically send a pre-typed reply. In our case, let's set the first incoming keyword as install. The reply message field is used to set the text that will be sent to the customer when a message with the keyword is received. When the user chooses the install keyword, we need to send a prompt to share the location. Likewise, let's set the custom replies for all the other. Tags can be used to add dynamic text to the reply message, such as adding the sender's name or other parameters. Under match options, you will be able to see exact match and contains. Selecting exact match will only send the reply message if only the keyword is sent by the customer. And contains will send the reply if the keyword is included in any part of the message. Select reply alert if you want to receive notification via mail when a custom reply is sent. And that's it. Now let's see it in action. We are the customer trying to contact the business. Let's send a message to the account. And now we got the form as the response. Let's open it. Fill in the required details. Click on Submit and now click on Send. As you can see, when we choose Install as the option, we got the prompt to share our location. That's how easy it is to automate messages on WhatsApp. Subscribe to No Code School for more such content.